let's open a scarf box. I have a thread up DIY scarves box that I've kind of been super excited to open. Most of the time I get real thrilled about doing the fun boxes, the jewelry boxes, the designer boxes, and of course that amazing Louis Vuitton box that I opened this weekend. Make sure to go back and check that out if you didn't watch that. Um, but I made a pretty good profit on my last scarf box. I did a recap on that yesterday. I will link that above if you want to go back and watch it. It's only like six or seven minutes. It's not super long, but in just selling three items, I tripled my money. So when ThreadUp put out a free shipping code, I jumped on this one. Um, I'm going to get this one open and we will go through it. My puppy already got to the corner, so there's a little sneak peek there. <laughs> I thought we were past that stage, but, you know, she decided she wasn't. So this particular scarf box comes to us from Swanee, Georgia. It is supposed to contain 24 scarves and the box is $16. I have another like little pass me around in school note folded up nice and tight here. Uh, yes. 24 DIY scarves, $16, no shipping on this one, which is nice. And one of my subscribers asked if I would please post when there are codes um, available on rescue boxes on ThreadUp. So I am going to be intentional about putting that out in the community page for you all. So there's a little look. Looks like the tissue got a little smushed. So what I'm looking for in this box is going to be brands. Um, materials and there's probably going to be a lot that I will donate to my local thrift but we'll go through one by one I'll show you what the scarf looks like if you're interested in anything in this box to purchase please email me at stina resells at gmail.com I'm happy to sell to you directly or I will have my Poshmark and eBay always linked in the description okay so this one is a really pretty print we got a couple of different blues, some greens, whites, and then look, the end has these green and white tassels. So I love that. When I open these boxes, I typically will go around the edge looking for any sort of marks in the corners. Sometimes they will print the brand on the corner and then I'm feeling for a tag to tell me who made it or what material it is. I don't see anything on this one. So we will move on to the next. Got a blue. This one's really soft and it's got kind of this frayed edge with like a little fringe. So we're going to go along this one. So far, both of these have looked like they're in pretty good condition. And I usually have to go back over these off camera, like for a second or third time. <laughs> because <laughs> I miss it all the time. This one also doesn't have any tags, but is in good shape and very soft. Ooh, we have a shiny shimmery one. This one also has little fringe on the end. It's got these stripes throughout and that metallic thread, which I think is so cool. See if we see any sort of tags. And for those of you who are new here, thank you for joining. My name is Christina and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and the Real Real. Um, and for those of you who tune in consistently, thank you so much. I love hanging out with you guys. Look at this one. I love this one with the paisley, the blue, and the um and the yellow. I think that one's really cool. It does have a tattered edge. I feel like this one should have a tag on it. It's really pretty. No, I don't see any. So my last box had a couple of branded scarves um, that did really well. One of them was a vintage Okay, before I show you this, I mean, before I continue telling you that. Okay, so the first few were folded on the top, and these are like wound into little cinnamon rolls. 
in here. So we're going to take out one roll and go from there. Okay. Got a striped, like green and kind of red striped one, which is perfect for fall. Got little tassels on the end. We're just gonna go through, see if we see any sort of tag. No tag on this one either. My other box had a vintage Ralph Lauren um, scarf and that one did really well. Um, it had a little hole and it still sold pretty good price. Would have sold great if it wouldn't have that hole. Okay, this one does have a tag. And this one says Jules, which I am not familiar with. Um, Jules Clothing. It says, I don't know what else it says. <laughs> it says something great, something, a garment of something quality. Anyway, so I will have to look this up, but this one at least does have a tag, so that is something. And let's see if I see a materials tag, but look how pretty that plaid is. Blues and pinks and a little yellow stripe going through. So that one's good. Here we go, we've got another Paisley. I love Paisley. Okay, and this one does have the um, tassels like the tied tassels on the end. And it is kind of a different color on this side than it is on this side. So that's interesting. Let's just go along the edge here. And see if I see anything. This one seems very square to me. So I'm not, this maybe could be something other than a scarf. I'm not sure. I don't see any sort of tags or anything on this one either. Next, more Paisley, you guys. Look at that. This one's in kind of a white and beige. Again, the little tied tassels. I also got um, a couple of other name brand scarves in that box that did really well. And sometimes you'll get other things other than scarves. Like I got a sarong in the other one and a wrap. Okay, so this is where the tag was, but it looks like somebody took it out. So I don't have the tag for that one. Sometimes if you have a really unique print, um, you can Google Lens it and find out exactly what it is. Next, we have kind of a white or off-white, very sheer. Maybe it's like a throw. Okay, this one does have a tag. It says hat attack. 100% cotton, hand wash, made in India. Not familiar with that either, but it's very light, soft. I love that. So I will have to look that one up. Ooh, this one has birds on it. It's got like a bird print, like swallows. I love that. And then some flowers along the edge. I hope this one has a tag. So, oh, it's an infinity scarf. So on the infinity scarves, you're going to look on this like inner seam and see if you can find anything. A lot of infinity scarves won't have a tag because it's like reversible. So we'll see. Nope, no tag on this one. But this may be one I have to like, I always want to keep one. <laughs> I never wear it, but I really like this one. I think it's very cool with the three different patterns on it. Next, we have a green. Um, it's like one color of green and then these little poofs of string. Go along the edge here. It's not like that on the other side. It's like playing on the other side. don't see any tags on this one. That one's also very soft. We have a sheer one that has some flowers on it. It's got kind of a black or smoky gray background. The tag was here. Somebody took that off. 
Okay, here's one with a tag right off the jump. Okay, we've got like a baby blue with like a white print. It is 100% polyester. It does say Target on it. So this one is a Target brand scarf or wrap. Next, we have kind of a watercolor flower print, it looks like. We've got that rough edge, and it's in like a blue, a white, a purple. I've had really good luck with all the scarf boxes that I've gotten, not that I've done that many. Um, so hope, I was hoping this one would be no different. We have a couple branded ones so far, and they all look like they've been in good condition thus far. So it's like treasure hunting, trying to find which ones can be valued at a good price. I don't see any branding on that one. Okay, we've got our last little roll here of scarves. All right, let's start with this one. This one has anchors on it. There is a tag, 100% viscose, made in China. Um, it is an infinity scarf, probably not anything like super expensive, but at least we know what it's made of. Look at this one. This is fun. This is like a bandana print, more paisley. Got a little theme here with all the paisley. Um, let's see if I can find a tag on this one. So you've got kind of a red bandana print. There is a tattered edge on this one also. And sometimes, like I said, on the corners, they will print the name. So you've got to kind of look out for that. I miss that a lot. Okay, this one is 100% polyester and it is Charming Charlie. So I don't know how much I can get for that. Um, Charming Charlie doesn't go for a lot, but the bandana you know, look is really cute. All right, next up we have this is a gorgeous floral one. Again, more paisley. I already see a run in this one. Um, I'm wondering actually if this one is silk. Let me see if you guys can see the run right there. And there's a little hole here. But it feel it feels like silk. I think there also might be a stain. Let's see if I can find a tag that tells us if it's silk or not. I don't see anything, but it does feel like silk. I will probably, even though this does have a run in it. I will probably Google lens this one and see if I can find who the maker is. And if I find anything out, I'll put it on the screen for you. Next, we have another infinity scarf. This one is kind of a large plaid in yellow, white, and black or gray. Let's go through the seam. We do have one. This one is called Funky Monkey. Okay. Not familiar with this one either. 100% acrylic, it says. That's cool, so I'll have to look that one up. I do like looking this stuff up. I think it's really, I don't know, I think it's fun. Look at this one. Ooh, I like this one. You've got a sheer kind of baby blue or pale blue um, with some leaves. We do have a tag. It says National Trust for Scotland. 100% silk, dry clean only, and it has a website. That is cool. So I'm going to just kind of quickly see if I have any holes that are obvious. I don't. So that one I definitely will list. Next, we have a gray sheer scarf. It's got this like blinged out edge all the way around. Let's see if I see any 
tags on this one. No, I don't see anything on this one. That's pretty. I like that edging. I think that's cool. And then now we've got like a sheer black one. Just breezing through the edges here to see if I see any sort of mark or tag. And I don't. That one's in good condition. Ooh, look at this one. This one feels silky to me too. And it's got this really cool like little, is that like a polo player? Or like a um, derby? What are they called? <laughs> the people who ride the horses. I don't know. I forgot what they're called. Jockey. <laughs> I knew it would come to me. Um, this is really neat. Ooh, I love this one. We do have a boo-boo on the edging here. So it is torn like the way that this is sewn in and this one is like kind of undone this it also has a stain here which is actually not a big deal to get out of silk if you use just some um like water wipes you can get that out you just have to be really careful there is a small hole on this end um i would say oh there's another hole here um, I would say this is definitely silk, even though I don't see a tag. Um, and I am going to Google Lens this print and see if I can find a maker for you. I'll put it on the screen if I do. But I like that one. Next, we have a black print tattered edge. This one has, it reminds me of like peacock feathers or some sort of feather. Um, let's go through the edge, see if I can find a maker. One of these boxes, I got a Johnny Was scarf, and that like also made me a big profit on the box. So you never know, it could just be one scarf even that will do well. But I like this one. I don't see any sort of tag or anything. I, I definitely like the print on that. This one is like a yellow, a blue, a green. Got the little tassel edging there. And we've got a really pretty kind of print through the middle. And I don't off the top see any tags on this one either. But that one also is in good shape. I really, it's not even necessarily about the brand. I mean, I want a good brand. But I really, when I'm selling a scarf, I really want to know what it's made of. Because some people are very sensitive to certain, um, you know, materials. So here we have like a little hedgehog or porcupine scarf. I think this one could be handmade where you cut and tie from materials I'm not sure but it's got these cute it's fuzzy like a little fleece scarf I don't see any markings on that but that is so cute all right last scarf you guys we have a yellow and multicolored thin stripe we've got the tassels on the edge there and let's just quickly check for a tag on this one also. Sometimes I can find it if I run my hand along the edge. I don't think this one has one. These are all in good shape. So I definitely like to take the um, scarves that I'm not going to sell and donate them to my local thrift. They do sell scarves um, and it is, you know, changing of the seasons here. So um, this will be a good thing to, to give to them. Okay, so really I have these two that I'm going to look up that I think are silk. And then I had these that are branded. So we have one, two, three, four, five scarves that are branded. 
I will put any information that I found about these scarves on the screen so you guys should see it as I'm showing you the scarf. And let me know what you think. I will definitely try to post codes as I see them on the ThreadUp website. So maybe you guys want to try a scarf box. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Make sure to give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. I have a giveaway going on through tomorrow. You can get the details about that giveaway um, in last Thursday's video. So make sure to check that out and enter for your chance to win a rescue box given away by me. See y'all on Thursday. I will be back opening another thread up rescue box. Bye y'all.